I'm back home. <laughs> He's back home. It's like I live here. Yo, you know what it is. Uh, yo, it's like I'm home. Yo, fuck these shoes, man. You don't need these. I'm getting comfy, bro. Yo. <laughs> yo. This made it awkward. Oh, it's a late night session. Trust the process. Season two. <laughs> My name is Kyle. And I'm here with the incredible Jack. What's up? What's going on, brother? How you doing? I'm just chilling, man. How about you? I'm doing all right, all right. Let him know. Actually, he's been on the show before. You've been on season one, which was fully online on Twitch. One of my first guests. Thank you for bearing with me. Of course. Um, it was only right to have you back for another interview. We dressing down. We chilling. Socks are off. It's going to be a fun time. <laughs> um, but let's get started with some questions. You yeah, know, man, um, what's up? I have a lot to ask you. It's been a minute since we've actually chilled. So yeah, bro. without further ado, <laughs> I'm nervous, bro. You're such an icon, man. Like, oh, boy. Nah. And being, being the presence of KWG, that's crazy. Bro, stop, man. man. Look, look <laughs> at this guy, bro. I swear I didn't pay him to do that. Um, yeah. All seriousness, I want to ask you really about your process because you've come a long way from, once we've, from when we first met, uh, which was how long ago now? Like five years ago? Six. Six years ago. So, so tell me, you know, where did your love for music start? Where did that inspiration to become an artist stem from? Um, for me, weirdly enough, um, I was in my mom's minivan, five years old, and just on repeat, nonstop, watching this set of Linkin Park live in Texas. Uh, real LP fans know um, what that is. And... I would always mimic Chester Bagnanton, always doing his screamo shit. Yeah. And every week I would lose my fucking voice really? trying to yell shut up from one step closer. And that's when I was gravitated towards music and became hella inspired off it. And I just always been surrounded by music my whole entire life. I remember growing up listening to like Green Day, Boys Like Girls, um, Lincoln, heavy on the Linkin Park shit. And when I was first introduced to hip hop, um, my brother was playing Party Like a rock star. And oh my god, like I just kept on, I don't know, it was just a whole vibe. And like, I wasn't really heavy into hip hop until I moved to Canada. So I, I actually lived in Jersey from 2004 to 2011. And when I moved here, uh, I remember being introduced to an artist called Deep Pride, who was a Filipino Canadian, who is, all, who is known as Russell now, who is such an amazing, inspiring ass artist. And his evolution is crazy. And, um, yeah, that's when I became, you know, really heavily influenced into like music. And like, I was like, you know what, if he can do it, then not so can I. So I became hella inspired and influenced by him and just, you know, um, became, and I developed my passion and love for music. And what I also realized from the music was that it was really my escape from like, you know, the world and everything like that, all the problems that I went through, everything, you know, going through my mind, whether I was happy or sad or any emotion, I just put it on, put it onto the music. I feel like you know this shit was very therapeutic to me and like you know it really saved my life i always say this to like my friends like yo it just i would i would i would be dead without this music shit and like this is everything to me and i don't know if i answered your question i know i'm ram i have a really big problem with rambling i'm sorry guys no <laughs> um, not at all you absolutely but, did but yeah and really and now you know i just feel like you know i have a lot of influences from like paramore russell J. Cole, Corday, um, Logic, uh, Phoebe Bridgers, um, Julian Baker. Um, it's it's I, I, the list can go on, and and all, and all honesty, like you know, I I truly love the music, and I truly love you know <laughs> the process, and um, <laughs> this is everything to me, I guess. So not I guess, but this is really really everything to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. But what about you? Nah, bro, this ain't about me. You can't keep doing that. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, for real, though, um, your passion definitely stands out. Um, and it's evident in your progression because you've released quite a few projects, quite a few songs in the past five years. Um, do you yeah. know how many? Do you know how many songs you've made in the last five years? No. Probably in the hundreds, though, right? I don't know. I, it must be. I, I've seen his vault. It's definitely <laughs> in the hundreds. Um, but you know, your passion definitely stands out. And I can tell, you know, when you say, you know, music is your everything, I can hear that. Yeah. Uh, there are songs that stand out to me. Um, Nothing to a Something is definitely um, a song that stands out to many people who have heard your discography. Uh, 
Uh, and you can hear the passion in, in that song, absolutely. Thanks, man. Um, tell me about that song. How did, I, I remember, I remember it was 2018 or 19 when it came out. What's the story behind Nothing To Or Something? Um, I was going through a lot in my life. You know, I had really shitty people in my life, man. And um, I really, and it was during times when I wanted to quit. Even though like I wasn't really getting started in a sense, like now I feel like, you know, the progression I have really solidified, like, oh, I'm really getting started in this shit. Mm. Something's happening. But when I made it, I don't know, I was just going through a lot of things in my life. And like I said, I just decided to put it on to, into the music and really just, you know, express every, every emotion that I was feeling in that moment in that time period of my life. And I'm thankful and like really happy that like, you know, I guess people were inspired off that, which I really wasn't my, you know, like, yeah, my main intention, but like, I just didn't expect that to happen like that, you know? Mm. I, I, I treat every song like, you know, just like a regular single or anything like that. Or I treat every song like it's my last in a sense, you know, on, on some Mamba mentality type shit, I guess. Yeah. But when I made that song, was, I don't know, it was just like, cool, I made it. Let's see what the fuck happens, I guess. And mm. uh, yeah, um, and sorry, I'm, I'm trying not to get emotional and shit. That's just, it's yeah. such a, it just reminds me of like a really rough period in my life. And it's just crazy. Like, you know, it just made such a, such a huge impact. Sorry, I'm just trying to find the words and yeah, shit. Yeah, man. No, no stress. Fuck, man. Why'd you have to ask me that question? I'm sorry for asking you that shit, question. Man. Shit, bro. Like, no, like, I'll, we can move oh, on if you want. All, all I can say is, yo, thanks, thanks guys for listening to that song. I really, no, like, I really appreciate that shit for real. Like, you cited Kobe as you know one of your major inspirations. Maybe not music-wise, obviously, but in life, what is something that Kobe has kind of taught you that you might apply into your music or in your life in general? Dedication and perseverance. Never giving up adversity. Um, I remember he said, I think at his Jersey retirement, like, yo. The dream is is when you wake up doing something what you want to do, even if you're tired and you keep on going with it, that's the dream. And like I feel like I was how inspired off that. Even when I played basketball, like bro, like I remember pulling up to school an hour, hour and a half early, just to get shots up by myself in like the that like the pavement in the, in the back of the school and like just trying to grind down this shit. And then when I didn't want to pursue basketball anymore, I applied the same work ethic and process to music. And it was just like drills, man. Like some J. Cole type shit, like, you know, kept on working, kept on grinding, check up, getting momentum, learning and improving no matter what, and just try to be better than yesterday. Yeah. And that's the thing with me. I wake up every day, I, I breathe in and breathe out all like all my emotions, everything I'm feeling and, and, let, and let myself know, like, you know what? Fuck yesterday, it's about today. Like you, you gotta do what you gotta do, be better than yesterday. Today's yeah. a new day, new start, new beginning. You you. And you always have to realize, like, bro, like, you're good, you're safe, you're fine, and all the bullshit is all in your fucking mind, you know? And I feel like Kobe it was like, man, like, that dude really, like, solidified, like, you know, the definition of work ethic, bro. He could just want to stop, stop working. Like, I really treat this music shit like, you know, it's my life. Like, I put my life into this, like I said. And, you know, honestly, like, you know, Kobe was a hella influential inspiring and just it man r.i.p man r.i.p man just do it i it's weird because when i get asked this i'm just like i don't know my process it's hard to describe my process is like i don't know i'm just so in the i'm just in the moment and then i oh i make a beat i storm and write a whole fucking song or I continue a left a song I haven't completed. Like it really varies every day, and I really just go into it like you know, like hey, let's just make something, let's see what happens. And if it doesn't happen, shout Matt, <laughs> Ten Tiger. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It's cool. That's what this music shit taught me was to be very patient and just let shit happen on its own. Because if you're forcing it, then it's gonna feel like work, and something that you love to do shouldn't feel like work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just do it. Love this shit. Trust the pro. <laughs> okay, other than trust the process, um, love this shit, man. Uh, 
push through all the all the setbacks, keep going. Um, just really, not even just f find your sound, but like m make an impact with it. Make an impact, whatever whatever you want to do, man. Just love this music shit, or or whatever. Not even just music, whatever you all want to do in your life, love it. Trust the process and just keep going with it. Have fun with it.